Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love, Marriage, Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Today we are talking about Phonics Unhooked. And, and, and I knew this was going to happen the moment that Kiki said anything in regards to Phonix Unhooked, in regards to her cousin Letitia and their marriage. And, and I knew this was going to happen, right? Uh, so basically, as expected, Phonix Unhooked goes on live, right, on her channel and uh, basically tries to debunk what Kiki has said and then tries to say, oh, I don't hang out with any drug um, addicts, but I do hang out with drug dealers or used to hang out with drug dealers. And, and it's like, seriously? And then she talked about how I guess her and Kiki had words last night and um, was cussing each other out. And then Phonics Unhooked is alleging that Kiki um, is still getting drug tested and trying to imply that she still may be doing, utilizing substance abuse or whatever. And, and it's just low down, you guys. It is just low down. And ultimately, she basically said that she was going to disown her niece. And apparently, she's talking to somebody because apparently she talked to someone else as well uh, who didn't sound like they were a relative um, and was upset that they put the information out there, basically. But here's the thing. And then she's up here going on and on that Kiki doesn't make that much money. She only makes $2,000. And to talk to Phonics Unhooked when she is making fifty dollars or $60,000. Um, coming from somebody who has yet to appear on season six of the show. Uh, so make that make sense. But here's the thing. Here's my issue, right? Because this is the same person who talks about being godly, uh, being Christian, and being a good person but you have all of these foul and nasty things to say about your niece right and, and here's what i don't understand right you guys decided to sign up on a reality tv show right you know with reality tv whether you want it to happen or not whether you are liked or disliked they're going to dig up your information they're going to dig up your criminal past. They're going to dig up if you've ever been married, if you have kids, uh, where you went to school, anybody who knows you, if you've ever been arrested, any liens, any um, garnishments, anything that is against you. They are going to look this up. But my issue that I have specifically with Phonics Unhooked and Letitia, and it's the same thing Stormy is doing, is they feel that they are better than their other relatives, right? And so when the other relatives come on the show they want to talk down to them and bring up any type of um you know negative information that is going to make them look bad or any type of scandal or anything else that has taken place in the family but it's ironic because you don't you ignore your scandals why can't we talk about your scandals right why can't we talk about the scandals that is happening with your family right why is it that you are coming for kiki unprovoked because once again and i don't even think it was about anything she had to say about you you don't like the fact that it is out there that your daughter's marriage isn't perfect and that things are not right with her and marceau and things have been very suspect between her and marceau for a while right so you are going to fight to the death to make sure that nothing gets out there right but the problem is everything is out there right Everything is out there and there's receipts to back it up, right? So I do not understand, you know, you're making matters worse by doing this, right? And then it just shows that you care more about reality TV fame and reality TV money than you do being a good aunt to your niece, right? And being a good example to your niece. Because here's the thing, you're grown, right? You're grown and you wanna talk about, you know, just because you're not as educated as others doesn't mean that, you know, you're not on their level. But here's the mature thing, Phonics Unhooked. Here's the mature thing, right? Is to not respond. Is to not respond, which is what your daughter Letitia tells you not to do time and time again. But here's the problem. The problem is you are so obsessed with being famous. You are so obsessed with wanting your face on a screen, a face on a camera, 
that you cannot help yourself and the problem is you say something problematic you walk yourself into something you cannot get out of and you make yourself look bad in the process right in the process where you think you're dragging kiki and telling everybody that you're going to quote unquote disown her and she quote unquote isn't making no more than two thousand dollars and all the money is gone and alleging you know implying that she potentially is still having substance abuse issues while you're putting that out there it is telling me you're low down right it is telling me you're willing to sell your own family out if it means protecting your daughter and your son-in-law's drama right and and that's a new low right that is a new low your daughter is a growing adult she can fight her own battles she can speak up for herself right if she wants to stay in something toxic that's in that's on her if she wants to pretend that she is Stevie Wonder and doesn't see anything that is happening in her marriage and doesn't see any problems and doesn't see how she's being taken advantage of with everything being in her name. So when all of these liens and lawsuits come to play, guess who else is going to be on the hook for the bill? Like make it make sense as to why you are going to go back and forth and attack your own family. This is stuff that's supposed to be kept in house you guys. This is stuff that's supposed to be kept in house. We should not be knowing your family drama, right? That should be off the books, right? That should be private conversations that you are having. But the problem is you're not on the show. I don't care how many scenes you feel. You still are not on the show, regardless of you claim to be filming or whatever, right? Because you got in your feelings and, you know, basically made your daughter say, hey, well, if my mom can't be on the show, nobody else's mom could be on the show, uh, except for Stormy's mom for some reason, right? Because uh, she's your replacement, right? But again, this did not accomplish anything. All this did was make matters worse. All this did was just show once again that all you care about is fame. All you care about is money. You do not care about replenishing and having a good relationship with your family. You don't um, want to utilize this opportunity to have a grown conversation without having to cuss her out. You should be the bigger person. You are the older adult. You are the elder in this situation. And this is how you're popping off. This is the example you want to set for your niece and you want to set for your kids and your grandkids acting like this on you know tv on social media this is what you think is hot in the streets because it's not cool and the problem is this is going to last forever this is going to follow you forever all of the disgusting things that you said about your niece right and all to protect your daughter and her husband even if something's not right there right but again you cannot help yourself and you keep talking yourself into more trouble than what it's worth right you should have handled this in-house stop trying to talk to other people to put your business out there so that you can get clout and get attention and then cry wolf because you don't like the narrative that's being spread by other content creators no 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 you didn't have to respond to anything kiki said you did not have to respond to anything kiki said the best thing to do in drama is to not address it right is to not address it and move on about your business if you really are as success successful as you're claiming you wouldn't be popping off every single time there is something negative out there about your daughter and son-in-law and anytime your niece does not follow along with what you want her to do what with, with what you threatened her to do and continue to threaten her to do right and she is her own woman. She can like and dislike whoever she pleases, right? But this is dirty. This is very dirty and very disgusting, right? All because she will not go along with your guys' ridiculous plan to take down Melody Shree. I noticed that none of that was addressed, right? I noticed the plot was not addressed, right? Which, again, is something else that I've been saying all along was true right so there is that so let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comments please do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment i post new content on my channel and with that being said i'll talk to you guys again very soon